on today's What I Do. You know, I sit there and say a quick prayer on the, on the bench, on the sideline. You know, and I have my tower and scripted. Scripture on the sidelines, prayers between the plays. A Toronto Argos, Kerry Joseph is scoring touchdowns with God on and off the field. We are role models. And sometimes when we go into schools, uh, different companies, you know, I look at it as an opportunity, regardless if they want you to or not, to put God into it. Welcome to What I Do. I'm Rob Melnichuk. This is a show that celebrates your workplace calling. Touchdowns, tackles, and the Toronto Argonauts, Kerry Joseph's life in football is just as much his career as it is a gift from God. Hi, I'm Kerry Joseph, and this is what I do. Uh, actually, when, when you talk to my mom, she says as a kid, I was just, anything that had to do with sports, I was always wanting to be around. And uh, she said she can still remember and they have a picture of me at the age of, I think I was two or three. And I actually, because you can see me trying to hold a football and throw it, and it was too big for my hands. A fan of football from the start, Kerry's big break happened in high school. My first coach, he was the one who said, uh, you know, I've seen you throw a football before, I've seen you play baseball, and we're starting a flag football league, and I would love to have you on my team. And that was my first opportunity uh, to throw the football around and play quarterback. But when I got to college, I really began to realize that I really loved what, what I was doing. And soon, Kerry's passion turned professional with not one, but two big realizations. I really began to realize that if I can make a, a successful career through college, I had a chance to take it to the next level as a professional. And, uh, and I really began to realize that God has given me a tremendous talent. I actually had a cousin that played a big part of that in my life of uh, asking me a simple question about, do you know where you get your talent from? And uh, I told him, and my mom and my dad, and he said, no, God gave you that talent. He said, so don't let it go to waste. And that, that, that statement, that question stuck with me. And it made me begin to work harder because I wanted to be the best. And I knew that I was playing the game for a different reason. Now, with Christ as his coach, he's got success and security on the field. I believe God has truly called me to be where I'm at today because when I look back on my career, this is my, I just finished my 11th football season. And the average career of a professional athlete is three, three and a half years. One of my biggest prayers before the game, uh, whether on the field or in the locker room, is I ask God to, to, to be everything for me today. You know, my hands, my, my legs, my eyes, my heart, my mind, and my soul. And sometimes, you know, I sit there and say a quick prayer on the, on the bench, on the sideline. You know, and I have my tower and scripted, you know, like this year I had Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. And I just grab my towel sometimes and just think about that scripture and, and just go back to work and, and have fun doing it. But it's about more than just the game for Kerry, who uses his celeb status to talk God. We, uh, we have an opportunity to, uh, to, to go into different places because in, in effect, we are role models. I look at it as an opportunity, regardless if they want you to or not, to put God into it. Because you never know who attention you might catch by saying one or two phrases about God. If I wasn't a professional athlete, if I wasn't a quarterback for the Toronto Argonauts, I wouldn't have this platform to say, this is what God has done in my career, in my life, to, to glorify Him. I compare it to the workforce. I think God has given us gifts in different areas. You know, He's given the doctors gifts and talents to save people's lives. And that's their calling, that's what they do. Hey man, you keep on calling, bro. You're keep working hard. Hey, Having faith and fun means points and purpose for Kerry, who's living like a leader on and off the field. I know that one day, you know, when I'm up in heaven, God can point down and say, Kerry, this is why I had you in that situation. This is why I had you there in that city because look at the lives and the people that you affected in that community. Look at the lives and the people that you affected in that, in, in, on that football team. And, you know, at this time and at this moment, this is my calling. It's like some people say that the Bible is the only, I mean, you are the only Bible that people will ever read. So the way we live our lives, it, it goes back to that platform again, because you never know who's looking at you. But if you put God first and you ask God to help you and carry you through that, it makes it a lot easier. Kerry takes football as seriously as he does his faith. 
But what do you think about a person's calling being in the world of sports? Do you think it's a career or just a form of entertainment for both the athlete and the fans? Email your response to what I do at crossroads.ca and then go to crossroads.ca slash what I do for the results. That's all for what I do this time. Kerry Joseph is a leader on and off the field who's always aware of his actions. A good lesson he learned from a Christian coach of his a few years ago, who after seeing Kerry sitting down on the bench with his head down, told him to think with his head up because leaders are always being watched. Here's some advice from leadership expert John Maxwell. Few leaders are successful unless a lot of people want them to be. In other words, you and I do not get to the top by ourselves. I wrote a book several years ago called The Laws of Teamwork, and in that book it talked about the law of significance, which says one is too small of a number to achieve greatness. If you want to achieve greatness, you have to do it with a team. It is true, teamwork makes the dream work. And the moment that we begin to understand that we need others and they need us, and together we can climb the mountains and the challenges before us, that's the day we really begin to be successful.